समुद्र मंथन कुर्म अवतार नीलकंठ एंड मोहिनी अवतार The Devda and the Asura were step brothers who always hated each other. The Asura always wanted to rule heaven. Once Sage Durvasa presented a garland of flowers to Lord Indra, he put it on his elephant. The elephant shrugged the garland and it fell on the ground. Sage Durvasa felt insulted and cursed Lord Indra that he along with all the other devas will lose their strength. Because of this curse, the strength of the asuras had grown much higher than of the devas. The devas got scared of this and came to Lord Brahma to ask for help. He suggested that only Lord Vishnu can get them out of their misery. As they approached to Lord Vishnu, he advised them that if they want to defeat the Asura, they must attain Amrit. The only way they could get the Amrit was by churning the ocean of milk using Mount Meru. Once they consume the amrit which comes out from the ocean they will become immortal much more powerful than the asura Lord Vishnu explained that they would not be able to churn the ocean by themselves they must make peace with the asura and use their help He told them they must not let their desire come in the way even if the asura take away the valuable things which come out from the ocean Lord Vishnu assured them that only the devas will get to the amrit which they must focus to get than anything else Indra the king of heaven went to Bali the king of the asura Indra told Bali there is a amrit in the ocean and that they must unite to churn the ocean so both of their people can divide it among themselves Bali along with all the other asuras decided to keep their conflicts aside and unite for the task of churning the ocean The Dev and the Asura set off together to bring the mountain. Even with all their strength put together, they could not bring it all the way to the ocean. They prayed to Lord Vishnu who came on Garur and helped them to bring Mount Mandrachal to the ocean. Vasuki the king of serpents also came on the instruction of Lord Vishnu who then was used as a rope around Mount Mandrachal to churn the ocean Vasuki wrapped tightly around the mountain for the work to stop Indra knew the snake would let out poison so he played a trick He told Bali that the devas want to be on the side of the serpent's head and the asuras should hold the tail. King Bali thought to himself that why should they be at the end of the serpent? It must be a conspiracy. He insisted the devas to stay at the tail side. With full dedication they all started churning the ocean together but soon the heavy mountain mandrachu started sinking in the ocean as it had no support putting in all their energy they could not make the mountain come back up 
With the devotion, they all prayed to Lord Vishnu together for him. Lord Vishnu himself incarnated as a kurma and relieved their despair by bringing the mountain up at the top of the ocean on his back. He promised to stay there supporting the mountain until the Amrit reaches the right hand. By the grace of Lord Vishnu, their energies revived and they could churn the ocean easily. Vasuki also felt no pain. But the Asura started becoming weaker from the poison coming from Vasuki's mouth. This made them churn the ocean even faster. The first to emerge was all the impurities from the ocean in the form of a deadly poison called Halahai. The atmosphere became toxic and everyone started choking with its poisonous fumes. The Devdas prayed to Lord Shiv who then appeared to rescue the world. Lord Shiv collected all the poison and swallowed it himself. He kept the poison in his throat which was so deadly that it gave Lord Shiva a blue throat. This is where he got to be known as Nilgant. Once all the poison had been removed, the Devtas and the Sodas returned to churning the ocean. Just then, Gandhana the Divine Cow appeared, which was later taken by Lord Brahma. Followed by Achishravas, which was given to Bali. Then came Aravat, which was taken by Lord Indra. Followed by Kostuba, which was later worn by Lord Vishnu. Parijat, which was taken to heaven. And the Apsaras of heaven. Then with glory came Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth and fortune. She came with the Vajanti Mala in her hands for Lord Vishnu and accepted him for her eternal companion. Who was followed by a Lakshmi, the goddess of misfortune. Followed by Varuni, the goddess of wine, who was taken by the Asuras. Many other valuables were produced, including Sharanga, Lord Vishnu's Shank, Panchjanya, Kalpavriksh, Chintamani, Chandra Dev, which enhanced Lord Shiv's head, Nindra Devi, the powerful earrings which can protect for danger, which was taken by Lord Indra for Mother Aditi, Lord Varun's umbrella. Then, at last came Danvantri, the god of Ayurveda and medicine, who came with a golden pot filled with Amrit. Seeing this, 
the Asura ran towards Dunvantri and tried to snatch the divine pot of nectar from him. They started fighting among themselves on who would take the Amrit first. The Devtas watched this and prayed to Lord Vishnu to help them before the Asura consume the Amrit and it becomes too late. Lord Vishnu assured the Devtas that he will get back the Amrit for them. Lord Vishnu took the form of the most beautiful Apsara, Mohini, and appeared in front of the Asura. The Asura were hypnotized by Mohini's charm and soon forgot about their quarrel. Mohini took the pot of Amrit from their hands and said, I will distribute the Amrit both to the Asura and the Devta one by one. The Asura said, We can do anything you ask and are happy to receive the Amrit from your hands. She commanded, you must all sit down forming two rows, one of the Devtas and one of the Asuras. When they all settled down, Mohini served the Amrit first to the Devtas. She then cleverly changed the pot in her hand so that the Asura did not get any Amrit. Mohini kept all the Asura under her spell as she gave the Amrit to the Devtas. But one of the Asuras was suspicious about the whole event. Very quietly, he sneaked at the end of the row of the Devtas as Mohini poured the Amrit in his mouth. Suryadev and Chandradev recognized the Asura and informed Mohini of his disguise. Lord Vishnu took back his normal form and with his Sudarshan Chakra beheaded the Asura. As the Asura already drank the Amrit, he could not be killed but was split in two parts. The head became Rahu and the body became Ketu. To take revenge, Rahu promised that he will eclipse the sun and the moon from time to time. The Devtas were very happy that Sage Durvasa's curse was lifted. And after fulfilling the divine task, all the Devtas returned to heaven and Lord Vishnu flew away on his Guru. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to stay updated. Crucial story!